Hey guys, Keenan here, Spider-Man PS4 is the number one fan. Seriously, I am. Let's not even argue. Behold, my stuff. Okay, all jokes aside, today we're continuing the Marvel Spider-Man 2 wishlist series. This week we're going to get into the villains that I want to see in Spider-Man 2. Some of these are already confirmed and some of them are villains I just personally want to see in the game. So right off the bat, I want to go ahead and get into the two main villains that we already know have been confirmed for the game. That being Venom and Kraven. Both were confirmed in the first trailer and can I just say how happy I am that we're going to have Kraven in this game? It definitely was a nice surprise and something I didn't expect in the sequel. But since we already know that the two villains are going to be a major part of the story, I'm just going to tell you guys what I hope to see from a story perspective with these two characters. Based on what little information we got in the trailer, I'm going to assume that Kraven will be looking to hunt down Venom in this game. At least, I'm hoping that's the case. If this is true, I'd love to see a storyline where Kraven is looking to kill Venom, but Peter has to try his best to make sure that doesn't happen, especially if he knows that Venom is his childhood friend Harry. This dynamic would make for a messy situation. You would have Venom who is likely out there harming people, and then you'd have Peter looking to obviously stop that from happening while also trying to save his best friend who has become a victim to the symbiote. On the other hand, Kraven will be looking to take out Venom for his own selfish reasons. Kraven isn't looking to save anyone. For him, killing Venom would be a trophy. I think this would make for a really interesting dynamic and storyline and it's something I'd love to see in the sequel. Alright, let's start getting into the unconfirmed villains that I want to see in the Spider-Man sequel. One villain that I'm dying to see in this game is the Lizard. Dr. Connors was actually teased in the post credit scene for Spider-Man Miles Morales. Hopefully you guys stuck around for that. The Lizard had multiple Easter eggs in the first game, so we already know he exists in this universe. I'm dying to fight against him. And I think without a doubt, the best storyline for him is to have him try to turn everyone in New York into lizards. Okay, not really. But I don't really care for Lizard to be a major part of the story. It would be cool to have some sort of run-in with him at some point during the game. Maybe Spider-Man is doing some sort of investigative work at Norman's lab and he runs into him there. That, that would make for a pretty cool boss battle. I don't know, I'm just spitballing ideas. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, now let's get into a villain slash anti-hero that was set up very well in the City That Never Sleeps DLC. That character being Wraith. I must admit, I didn't know much about the character Wraith until I did some research after playing the Spider-Man DLC. If you don't know, Yuri becomes the anti-hero called Wraith. She actually loses her faith in the law and she learns that the only way to keep criminals from returning to crime is to take them out completely by killing them. This ideology obviously is the exact opposite of Spider-Man, which creates an interesting conflict between the two characters. In the City That Never Sleeps DLC, Yuri really takes a dark turn after one of her officers dies, and she actually tries to kill Hammerhead as opposed to attempting to lock him up. I believe there's no doubt that Insomniac set up this storyline with the purpose of using it in the sequel. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, let's talk about the next villain that I want to see make an appearance, and it's none other than Mysterio. Listen, there's absolutely no reason why this would make sense from a story perspective. I have no idea how he would fit into a story like this, but he's my favorite Spider-Man villain and I selfishly want to see him in the game. Maybe they could squeeze him in as a role similar to the one that they gave Shocker in the first game. Shocker had a very small role in the first game. We got to experience a chase sequence and a mini boss battle with him, but nothing more than that. And that's all I'm asking for with the Mysterio character. I want to see some really cool visuals and some sort of boss battle between the two characters. We already know that he exists in this universe. I'm not sure where he's at, probably on the raft, but if we can break him out for a quick boss battle, I'd be totally down for it. Like I said, Mysterio is my favorite character. I don't understand how he would fit into the story, but I just want to see him introduced in the game somehow. Okay, so let's talk about Kingpin now. I'm not sure I actually want to see Kingpin appear physically in the game, but I still want his presence to be felt within New York City. I'd love to still see him pulling some strings while he's in prison. And the main reason I actually want to see this is because I think it presents an opportunity to introduce Daredevil. I'm going to keep beating this drum until it happens in Somniac. If you haven't checked out my most recent video and my first video on the channel, I dedicated a complete section to wanting Daredevil to appear in the sequel game. 
How cool would it be to have team up missions with Daredevil? Maybe Spider-Man and Daredevil take out some Fisk construction sites or whatever he's up to currently. I don't know, just make it happen Insomniac. Okay, lastly, I wanna talk about Green Goblin. I understand he was teased heavily in the first game's post credit scene, but he hasn't been confirmed just yet. I am praying that they don't wait any longer to use Green Goblin than in this game. He has to be in the sequel, and I would personally love to see him as the main villain of the game. I understand that most people expect Venom to be the big bad in this game, but I'd personally love to see it be Green Goblin. In the first game, a lot of the marketing was spent convincing us that Mr. Negative was the big bad. And while he was for a good portion of the game, we later learned that Doc Ock would become the biggest villain in that game. And I think the same could be done with Venom and Green Goblin in this game. Convince us that Venom is the big bad, only for us to discover that Green Goblin will become the main villain. Let me know if that is something that you guys would like to see in this game. Before I end this video, I wanted to get into some honorable mentions. These could be villains that have a very small role, but it'd still be nice to see in the game. One of those being Chameleon, who was mentioned in the first game and is also the half-brother of Kraven. Being that he is the half-brother of Kraven, you could see how he would have a nice tie-in into the sequel. And then the other being Morbius. Dr. Morgan Michaels had a pretty big role in the first game. Those of you who are familiar with Morbius know that Morgan Michaels is the alias name of Morbius. I'm not sure how he would fit into a story like this, but it'd be cool to have some sort of little side mission that leads into a run-in with Morbius. So those are just two characters that I'd like to see in the game, but don't necessarily have to be in the game. So there you have it guys, another Spider-Man 2 wishlist in the books. If you're enjoying this series, be sure to subscribe to keep up with the other videos coming. Thank you guys so much for watching and supporting and I'll see you next time.